What's up everyone? Welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. It has just become nighttime because the first time I attempted to do this um this recording, it was actually still daytime, I guess. Uh changes to nighttime at 7 p.m. and in black and white it actually changes at 8 p.m. So I don't know. Uh today we're taking on the Fuchsia City Gym, as you might or you will be able to recognize pretty soon. It is a poison type gym, and there's a bunch of, like, you know, people pretending to be the gym leader, Janine, but, um, they're all mostly just fakes, or actually, yeah, all of them but the actual Janine are all fakes, so, uh, I guess we'll be starting off this episode by fighting this little girl here with a Nido Queen, and she just likes to, I, I guess she doesn't have a personality, so she likes to take up Janine's personality. Um, now, you may have noticed, I mean, I haven't made a Soul Silver video in, like, a month. And I apologize for that, but I finally got my laptop back up and running. And that's, uh, my laptop was the key for me to be able to upload videos, because I, for some reason, on my desktop, my router doesn't let me upload videos, but on my, um, laptop with my little air card thing, I can upload just fine. So, uh, I'll be uploading more consistently now, um, so I apologize for that. Uh, yeah, she apparently feels stronger dressing up as Jimine. I don't know. Um, so second trainer over here is actually gonna be a kid. I mean, uh, or actually a boy, like a male freaking cross tester. Are you kidding me? And, um, just like that little girl over there had a Nido Queen, he's gonna have a Nido King. I guess it makes sense. I really don't care too much about that. Um, but it's probably gonna take out my Heifer here. I'm just gonna go for Zen Headbutt and, like, might mostly take out most of its HP is what I mean. Um... Oh, okay, Earth Power. I guess that might not kill me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm back up and uploading more frequently now. And oh, great. Okay, Poison's gonna... Yeah. Um, anyway, I know that I've got like seven runs that I need to finish now. Actually, four. Um, those being this one, um, Pokemon Brown, and Twilight Princess. And I guess now Black and White. But honestly, it's a Japanese game. And uh, just like Soul Silver when it came out in Japanese, I started doing a little coverage for it. But it kind of died down, or it, it died down for me, not for you guys. You guys still probably wanted to see that, so um, I might just keep doing that eventually. I, I'm not really sure how I, how that's gonna go, but I definitely want to finish. Um, wait, what? Yeah, he's a boy. What's wrong with a boy dressing up as Janine? Are you kidding me? You freaking crossdresser! I mean, it's fine to be gay. I don't have a problem with that, but crossdressing? That's just pretty weird, bro. Oh, okay, so I guess we're gonna fight this girl now. Um, she's got more Pokemon than the others do, but she's still not really a problem. Starting off with a Gloom here, um, Grass and Poison type, I guess, but we're just gonna take it out with Ice Beam. Um, but yeah, I mean, you guys can leave a comment on which run you want me to finish first. I mean, I'll be doing two runs at a time once again because I can upload just fine now, so I'll be doing, um, Soul Silver for a while, but do you guys want me to do Brown along with it? Or uh, Twilight Princess along with it, or just keep doing black. I mean, I would do black, but honestly, I've already played through the game, and it kind of hasn't lost its charm, because it's honestly just an awesome game, and I love playing through it, but um, the Japanese playthrough kind of thing, or whatever you want to call it, um, the coverage. If you want me to continue that or not, you can just leave it in the comments, and if you do want me to continue it, would you like me to just do it like right now and finish it off, or like later on and do something else before that, because I can do two runs, like I said, and I really need to finish Brown and Twilight Princess before I move on to any more games. And uh, that meaning before uh, basically Black and White come out in English and I do the legit, not legit, but just the complete walkthrough of it. Um, but yeah, you guys can just vote on that. And um, I guess um, I'm still doing Pokemon Sienna on Ninbuzz, but they'll be uploaded a lot more frequently now. So if you guys have actually been checking those out, if you haven't, you will probably have a link down in the description for my episode 4 of Pokemon Sienna. Um, it's honestly a really great hack and you should check out those videos if you like the ones on this channel. Because it's basically the same thing, just on a different channel for my own little purposes. Ha. Um, but yeah, took, took down that girl there. Uh, yeah, let's just, let me just make my way around here because I really don't get the whole puzzle thing, but just kind of feeling your way around the walls. Um, Janine is the one in the middle, obviously, because, you know, all the gym leaders always, like, in the middle of the room. I actually thought she would be out of the way, and the one in the middle would be another cross-dresser, but apparently not. Um, this girl here is gonna have a Bulbasaur. Sprite looks pretty cool in Heart Gold Soul Silver, I'm not gonna lie. Um, speaking of which, a lot of the black and white sprites, like, the animated ones, I, I just love the fact that they're animated, but, um, the back sprites, they look really pixely, that's something that I didn't really like, and I hope that, um, in gray, which is probably gonna be what's gonna, it's gonna be called, I mean, 
Um, I'm not sure about that, so don't go flaming me if it ends up being something completely different. But, um, what would be Pokemon Grey, I hope they fix up the back sprites because I really don't like what, how the, the way they look right now. Um, they're just really pixely, and they don't look completely horrible, but they could look better, like, in these games. I mean, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to talk about, so I guess we'll be taking care of the last trainer, and then we'll be heading for Janine herself, and, uh, yeah, this gym didn't really have too much to do. I mean, it's six, about six minutes into the video, and we're almost done with the gym, except for the gym leader herself, which is what's going to take up the in, more, I don't know, most of the episode. So, there we go. We defeated the last trainer. And, uh, that means there's only one left, so Janine has to be this girl here. Uh, let me just switch out. No, not go into my Pokedex. I never go into the Pokedex. I mean, I've literally never gone in there, so... Let me switch up Man Bear Pig to the first base position. And we're just gonna be taking on Janine. I'm not joking, I'm the real deal. Oh, I love this music. I'm not sure if this is the same music for, like, every gym leader in Kanto, but... Whether it is or it isn't, I just love this music right here. Um, and Janine does a little ninja attack there. I don't know why I went for Man Bear Pig, but she's got um, a Crobat. Um, it's not really a problem. I'm just gonna go for Ice Shard here. I could have gone for the Ice Fang, but I don't know. I want to get priority over it, um, just in case it kills me one hit with whatever it may have. I don't think it will have anything that can kill me one hit, but okay, Screech is definitely not gonna kill me. So this Crobat's basically taken down, like right here. And, um, yeah, uh, another reason, mostly, why I didn't, I, I stopped doing Heart Gold, Soul Silver, I mean, Black and White came out, it was just like, BAM, Black and White in your face, just take it, and, like, I don't know, but, it was just a big boom right there, and I kind of lost interest in Soul Silver, but, I actually really still enjoy these games, I might actually say that, um, I mean, they're both, they're honestly, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and Black and White are both my favorite games. Because uh, a lot of people like the old school games, I actually prefer the new school games, or whatever you want to call it. Um, black and white, the graphics are awesome, I mean, but I just have a problem with the pixely stuff. And the features, I like a lot more in Heart Gold, Soul Silver. I mean, I love the fact that your Pokemon follow you. I love the fact that you can, like, register stuff without having to, like, actually register it. It just, you know, you run on your own, and you can click on the bottom screen and go on your bike and stuff. And, I mean, those are things that could have honestly just easily been put into black and white, but I guess they didn't want to. Um, the whole Pokemon following you thing might have been a problem because I've seen a lot of the puzzles in the game and maybe it would have been a little hard to program in, but... I don't know, I really hope in Pokemon Grey, which again, I'm not sure if that's the name that's gonna be, but most likely... I really hope they would include some of those things. So, there we go, her second Pokemon down was that Weezing. Next up is going to be Ariados, and I'm just going to own this thing up and down with Red Rocket, who's almost level 50 now. Probably going to be my first one to get to level 50. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure how many gyms this is. I mean, I think this is gym number 3 that I fight in Kanto. Either 3 or 4, I'm not sure. Okay, I haven't fought Misty yet, but I did fight Lieutenant Surge and someone else. I forgot who. Um, but I believe this is gym number 3. I'll check as soon as I beat this girl. Um, but yeah, Ariados goes down really easily. And, um, yeah, it's not really too much to talk about here. So, Red Rocket growing to level 48. And you're going to have a second Ariados, um, and another Pokemon, I guess. So, throughout this week, and the next week, and the week after that, and, um, I think that's about it. I'll just be finishing up Soul Silver because honestly, I think, uh, at most it's going to take three more weeks, or two. I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, I've been having, I mean, progress reports come out tomorrow, Friday. I don't even think I'm going to pick them up because I usually don't, or my mom doesn't, I mean, not because she's irresponsible, just because, I don't know, she, she's working, she never has the opportunity to do so, but, um, our, my teachers at my school haven't really had too many, um, works, I guess, turned in, or they didn't really have too many things, or grades, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for, they didn't have enough grades, basically, so in the past two weeks, I've just been loaded up the butt with work, so, I've been doing that, and I really haven't had too much time to make any videos. So, this is being recorded, like, the same day it's being uploaded, which is Thursday night. Yeah. Um, so, you know, here's the last Pokemon. It's gonna be Benimoth. It does have the double team, but hopefully I'll be able to overcome that. I should have gone for the Ancient Power first, but I guess I went for the Ice Shard just for priority once again. I don't know, I guess I like priority over whatever else, um, Ancient Power is. Power, I guess? Yeah, Ancient Power has power. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? 
I guess. Um, but it's gonna go for the sludge bomb here, and wow! That does a lot more damage than I expected it to. And it also poisons me. I mean, that was not very effective, and it poisons me, and it just did a bunch of damage. So here we go for the final ice shard, hopefully to take this thing out. I mean, I don't have anything like Torn or anything to power up my Ice-type moves, but hopefully I'll be able to take it out. Yes, there we go. And with that, we have defeated the, the third gym leader in the Kanto region, Janine. And Man Bear Pig also grows to level 46. Awesome. So, so strong. And uh, now that we've defeated her, we can get the Soul Badge. And we don't have an awesome badge case kind of animation thing like we do in black and white, but I can bear with that. I mean, there's also just a bunch of features that I mentioned before that I really love about this one, so they kind of make up for it. I mean, yeah, I guess black and white is just a lot of graphics, but a lot of them, you know, they put a lot of effort into the graphics, but some of them actually do kind of suck. They're not the best. I mean, when you go into the whole hewn city thing, it does look awesome, like the buildings and everything, but when you zoom out too much, the character just becomes a little black pixel and it's just I don't know I don't really enjoy that too much because uh, they don't have a custom sprite for whenever you go away it just they kind of shrink it down and make it look like it's far away when it's actually not really but um yeah once again guys just leave it in the comments below whether you want me to finish black um, along with soul silver first which uh, black is probably gonna take me another two weeks if I upload every day or brown which is also probably gonna take me two weeks or Twilight Princess which is probably gonna take me over a month to finish um, but for now, that was it for this episode. Next time, we'll be heading to Cerulean City. Um, actually, no. I'm probably going to be taking on that really long route with a bunch of trainers. Um, but yeah, or just taking on the gym. I'm not sure, but shut up, Jack. <laughs>